got reading about the uh, Chiquita banana business in Colombia, uh, for which they just endured a settlement. But they they settled a lawsuit. Um, and it was brought against Chiquita Banana because of their um, their activities in uh, the use of private militaries, security agencies to terrorize the Colombian population. Um, you know, there's some aspects of it that uh, they uh, they parallel what's going on in America right now. Uh, for example, union busting. Uh, there were unions in Colombia and uh, Chiquita Banana and some other major corporations. They didn't like the unions you know, interfering with their banana business. You know, they got to get their bananas. You know, they don't want to pay people to work the fields to get the bananas. You know, they just want to have the bananas without paying anybody to get them. And then, um, yeah, so they they, uh, they put out this order to bust the unions, which they were doing with um, paramilitaries, paramilitaries to bust the unions. You're just sending people out there with guns and machetes to just, you know, lay gross malfeasance violence yeah, the uh, I do this ridiculous outlawry which um, you know, is all supported by you know the the men of the law in Colombia you know as far as like the um, you know, the government you know the government supports it all you know they you know in um, on one hand they you know, they, they say it's wrong and it's it must stop and then you know, on the other hand they just allow it to go on and they you know they don't really get in its way and um, I don't know some of what these paramilitaries were doing I have to find quartered here we go um, yeah some of what these paramilitaries were doing to to get these people to fall in line with whatever the corporation's plan was, uh, they quartered victims with chainsaws, meaning they, they cut their victims into quarters. They cut off their tongues and their testicles. They poured battery acid down their throats. Now, for the most part, you know, this is not going on in America right now, although, you know, we do have some hardcore uh, torture cases going on right now. Um, for example, um, this is a Native American guy's name. Leonard Peltier. He's been in jail for like 40 years or something. Totally innocent. They, uh, they trumped up some charges on him, said that... Uh, I don't know, he murdered FBI agents when the reality is that the FBI agents were regularly murdering people in his community. They, they had uh, you know, been to and killed five different people in his community. And then they showed up to somebody else's house with their guns drawn. And they, they were just looking to kill people. And so Leonard Peltier showed up and there was a shootout between him and these FBI agents who were murderers. And, uh, I don't know, they, they ended up, they ended up dying, the FBI agents, and Leonard Peltier wound up in jail for 40 years. Now, you know, if it comes down to this, that, you know, the, the government is wreaking havoc on your community, that they're just murdering people in cold blood, you know, in, in some of these scenes that I'm talking about, that, you know, people have been murdered, uh, you know, as far as the Leonard Peltier situation, yeah, there, there were people who were completely unarmed that the FBI showed up to their place and just shot them dead. And, um, you know, like, people, they, they would meet them in, um, on, uh, in the driveway and whatnot, you know, nothing in their hands, and the FBI would just shoot them dead. And, uh, so, you know, he was reacting to this, uh, extreme violence on his community. And they kept him in jail for 40 years so far. Um, uh, uh, I'd imagine that the CIA, you know, they, they probably have, uh, some dungeons, you know, right now that they, um, 
you know, they operate torturing Americans. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me in the least to find it out. And yeah, you know, there's been lots of accusations. People say that they've been kept in underground prisons. That um, I don't know. There was even one in New York. That there's a there's an underground prison there that people eventually were able to escape from, and. Um, you know, they, they said that they were there having experiments performed on them, you know, torturous experiments. And uh, I don't know, there's people that they, uh, they swear that they were taken to underground uh, prisons in Arizona and in Montana. And um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of you know, really weird stuff that the CIA does, that the government is involved in. You know, um, I don't know, for example, uh, Boys Town Orphanage. Uh, there's a movie now made about the Boys Town Orphanage scandal called The Conspiracy of Silence. Uh, they were using the orphans from Boys Town to abduct other children from the community. They would send one of the orphan boys over to uh, some place in a neighborhood where they were trying to abduct a little girl. And they would, you know, they would have their orphan boy coax the little go uh, little girl to a van where they were waiting. And as soon as they had passed the van, they would jump out and they would grab the little girl. And um, I don't know, that's from the testimony of these boys that were used to do this type of stuff. And they were also being used to throw sex parties for high-level politicians. If you think that that wasn't, you know, any uh, aspect of this situation in Colombia, I dare say you are by far naive. You know, um, you know. So all the parallels are there. You know, we got corporatism, we got union busting, we got um, I don't know, torturous application of injustice. Um, we think there was something oh, private securities. Uh, that's something else that's going on. Z used to be Blackwater. Uh, there's all kinds of Dincor. You know, there's all kinds of these private security companies that are now operating under U.S. Uh, province, where um, uh, the uh, there was actually a, there was actually a whole town. What was it in New Mexico? I think that. Um, they, uh, the, there's like a, a foreign private security organization that uh, they took over a FEMA camp. You know, they, the FEMA camp was basically sold to them and uh, they, they uh, started to enact plans to put people from the community in the FEMA camp. You know, all the resistors to this private security agency taken over. You know, it's just... How crazy is it going to get before, you know, people are in the streets, you know, just saying no more, you know, no more. This cannot go on anymore. You know, I don't know how crazy it's going to be. You know, maybe it'll be Columbia crazy and, you know, the government will be using chainsaws on people and uh, pouring battery acid down people's throat. But, um, you know, let's hope not. You know, let's hope it doesn't get to that. But, you know, all the parallels of, you know, what it is that these corporate... Um, hugely malfeasant uh, you know, uh, wings really of the empire you know they they are their branches of the empire you know the uh, like the Blackwater uh, Security Corporation now Z uh, Dincor uh, the US federal government the Colombian government the Colombian paramilitaries you know they're all uh, part and parcel, they are all kin to the empire, and you know, that is what we really need to defeat. You know, is the the empire. We don't need to, you know, just like elect, you know, some new, um, you know, some new warm body to office. You know, we need to defeat the empire with direct democracy. You know, it takes really that much force that the whole of the people of the world need to agree and need to work toward the justice that we seek and, uh, and the peace and the um, I don't know, justice, peace, I guess that's, you know, that's about it, you know. Um, if we can enforce justice and peace, 
you know, uh, enforce justice upon the corporations, you know, give peace to the society, you know, to, to the people of the world, you know, then, you know, things will, will go well, you know, things will happen that are good for humanity and that are a strong benefit. You know, until then, you know, we're going to be hearing about the stock market crashing, you know, so the only thing that the major media is going to cover and, you know, there's going to be people getting acid poured down their throat and people getting cut uh, into pieces with chainsaws and, uh, you know, there's going to be uh, depleted uranium on the battlefield in Afghanistan and Iraq and, you uh, uh, Libya now and um, you know all these places that are getting shot up with these depleted uranium bullets which is uh, basically a uh, it's like a slow motion nuclear war you know that they're they're using bullets made of depleted uranium which they do that because depleted uranium is is heavier than regular metal so it's what's considered uh, armor penetrating round when you make a bullet out of it and uh, they use a, it's radioactive you know, they, they, they shoot it uh, through like homes or vehicles and um, you know in some cases they even shoot up people you know I found videos um, where you know, people are getting shot up by uh, 30 millimeter cannon uh, attached to an Apache helicopter you know I'm talking about you know, people getting shot up by an Apache helicopter that they're not doing anything but rolling around on the ground, wriggling in pain. And, uh, yeah, that's the totality of the crime for which they, they got shot, you know, by a 30 millimeter chain gun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll include the link for this article. It's, um, inadequate justice for U.S. corporations' collusion with Latin American terror. It's on Spiro News. This is a new news source I just found. I don't know, basically they said that um, that Chiquita, you know, basically when, when a corporation collaborates with paramilitaries to suppress unionism, you know, like, those corporations should not only be bankrupted, you know, by legal action, but There should also be, um, there, there should be a, a jailing, you know, if not a, uh, an execution, you know, and that's, uh, that's a strong, uh, you know, possibility, you know, that's something that, that would really make a, a difference in this. Uh, after the executives who ordered these paramilitaries to do this action for them, yeah, after they've been tried and prosecuted, after they've been prosecuted for their crimes against humanity, yeah, ordering para uh, paramilitaries to operate where they're you know, hacking people apart with chainsaws, that um, you know that they they be executed or that they be jailed for the rest of their life for doing you know for that treachery for that. Um, uh, what would that be even? It, it would be murder, you know, that they, uh, that they pay these people who do this job. Yeah, so, I don't know, they, they would be, um, you know, if, if justice was implemented, they would be tried and convicted of mass murder, genocide even, and then, you know, they, they would either be executed or they would be jailed for life. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Until we have that, then, you know, you can expect these people to just, you know, pay a bit of chump change every time they get caught on doing their mass murder, which is what happened here. Yeah, this, uh, this article is reporting that Chiquita, they made some paltry, some payment to these people who they had damaged, you know, worth, um... You know, with with the death of uh, all you know, their their relatives and whatnot, and um, you know they they made some you know tiny payout to them. You know probably really the the payout went mostly to the lawyers that engineered the the failing of their case that they settle out of court and not prosecute those people to jail. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, 
you know, plus it went to the government, who, who they were complicit also. Yeah, whatever. Links in the uh, links in the description. Read the article.